hello guys welcome to my channel in this video we will we will perform the five steps to resolve the issue dns server might be unavailable okay so these are the five steps we will go through step by step the first step we need to make sure that dns client service is running or not okay since uh, dns domain name system is responsible for the uh, this service it means it should be running dns client service should be running in your windows so first check that go to services okay right click on that and run it as a administrator then look for dns client okay press d and look for dns client Okay, DSCP this option DNS client okay make sure it is running double click on that and if it is stopped you can start it click on apply okay and check if your issue is solved or not if still running we can move to the second method okay in the second method we will set the automatic configuration of DNS how to perform this step click on this option the Wi-Fi icon click on network and internet setting after that click on this option change adapter options and you will see properties of all the connected networks okay uh, this video is for all the windows so you can press window plus R button and C pa dot cpl and you will get all the properties okay like this okay uh, after once you click on that you need to select your wi-fi or ethernet connected network right click on that go to properties if you are not connected you need to choose accordingly which network you use and then go to its properties and look for tcp ip4 click on properties okay and make sure you are choosing this option obtain an ip automatically and choose use the following dns server 8.8.8 8.8.4.4 this is the dns of google if this is not working you can choose obtain and automatically click on apply and close it okay and check if your issue is solved or not if still not solved right click on that this time we will use the open dns okay and obtain an ip now open dns is 1.1.1.1 and alternative 1.1.0.1 okay after selecting this option click on ok and close it and your issue will be fixed if still not fixed we can move to the third method okay in the third method we will run the network troubleshooter how we can troubleshoot that go to search bar tap at troubleshoot setting click on that okay and click on additional troubleshooter click on network connections and run the troubleshooter it will automatically resolve your issue you need to just perform next next and your issue will be fixed okay like this detecting problems And once it is finished, you need to choose this option network adapter and also run the troubleshooter again. And hopefully if anything misconfiguration happened in your windows, it will fix it. If uh, this is the higher level problem, this is the higher level problem. We can hit these commands. Okay. In order to reset the DNS, we need to hit these commands. So how we can uh, hit these commands, go to CMD okay right click on that run it as administrator click on yes button when the prompt opens and you will get these command in my description box or you can visit my website 
so the first command is ip config space slash and flush dns okay this will uh, flush all the cache inside our uh, dns plus dns hit enter okay now the second command we need to hit here uh, we want to release our ip so ip config space slash release okay and after that you need to hit enter once the release is done you you can re request it so ip config and renew okay and after that hit enter these commands one by one you can do once uh, these three commands are done okay you need to hit this command in the last okay so i'm putting it the last since after uh, getting the ip you can re register your dns copy this and paste this command here this will re register the dns okay and let's wait now this will take effect in some time okay but you need to restart your system after performing these steps and hopefully your issue will be fixed if still not fixed you have uh, clear all the cache inside your dns request for new ip you have got the new ip and not getting it still getting the same issue we can reset our tcp ip okay in order to reset a tcp ip hit this command first okay hit this okay after that you need to hit this command this is not running above command is not running on my window so leave it if in your window it is running okay then the last command you need to type here this will reset all the socket errors after that exit out from the command and restart your system your issue will be fixed so hope these five steps are working on your windows so your if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share Thank you. Thanks for watching.